for UAE Warriors Arabia 4. This is for the UAE Warriors Arabia Welterweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner and representing Morocco, Badradine Diani. عبدالله البوشيري إن شاء الله النزال ما راح يكون سهل والحزام إن شاء الله راح يكون من نصيب كل شي كتيري وانا كان شوف حقيقة حبصة بين الضوي سكات في رجولة ماشي خوف وجراحي داوي خاب دموعي كذبت الحق اللي فيوني خليت الكذابة يعدموني بكذبهم يا يما دفنوني حتى في شي صحاب خابوا دموني لا 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 قلبي تبقى مزجونة البس الكذبة بعيونة كانت الخطة مزقونة زيد وهرق دمي زيد وخيب ضمي وبلا ما تخاف مني العيب ما خرج من فمي كبيرو أنا حتام مع الذي أنجح وعارفة كتحقني مزيان رجولة لسكاتي عنوان كل شي كتيري وأنا كنشوف حقيقة حبصة بين الضوي سكات في رجولة ماشي خوف وجراحي داوي تعب دموعي كذبت الحق اللي فيوني خليت الكذابة يعدموني بكذبهم يا يما دفنوني حتى في شي صحاب خابوا دموني لا 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 And now his opponent fighting out of the red corner and representing Kuwait, Abdullah Bushiri. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, your co-main event. This is five five-minute rounds for the inaugural UAE Warriors Arabia Welterweight Championship. Introducing the first challenger fighting to my left, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a combat sambo specialist. 21.86 meters tall, weighing in at 77.5 kilos. His record, three wins, only one defeat, fighting out of Morocco. Badrajid Diani! And now his opponent, standing across the cage and fighting out of the red corner. He is a kickboxer, standing 1.78 meters tall, weighing in at 77.25 kilos. His record, eight wins, only two defeats. Fighting out of it, representing Kuwait, Abdullah Bushelli. Referee Frank Trigg. All right, gentlemen, here we go. Co-main event of the evening, Walter Wake title for UA Warriors Arabia 4. Ollie, what are your thoughts about it? Just very excited to see a Walter Wake champion crowned um, and the belt's coming out in the Arabia show. All right. Your referee, Frank Trigg. Here we go, round number one. Man, Abdullah Bashir looks a massive Walter Wake. See what happens here. Nancy Kick Boxer versus Badrazi and Diani. Both guys look big, actually. Yeah. They're a good size worth away. Diani is a five-time African combat sambo champion. Right. And he's a, he's the grappler. The decorated striker. He's the one who gonna be very dangerous on the ground. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh! While well, Abdullah is a striker. Abdullah saying, come on, let's get it. <laughs> I like this. Oh! Wild exchange. Hey, you know what's going to happen that's, after that? That's One man very, is coming down. <laughs> that's very intense. Oh! With a low blow. Not intentional, I think. I don't think. He's saying, okay, I think. So guys, this is definitely like a clash between a striker and a grappler. Bashuri is just walking forward, wanting to engage. Yes. Formerly known as the Butcher, Bushetti. Oh, he hits real hard here, guys. Oh, yeah. All power. Those muscles only know how to knock out. Once again, this is your co main event of the evening, UAE Warriors, Arabia 4 for the welterweight championship. Abdullah Bashiri fighting out of Fight Club Kuwait. And also, he is a fire fighter by profession. Amazing. Much respect. Quadra Dean Biani. Biani from Morocco. Rebels team combat sandwich specialist. Abdullah Bashiri trying to uh, calculate everything, going off in that one punch knockout power. You can pretty much see the size difference right here. Bashiri, much, much bigger. Wow, good take wow. by Bushetti. Wow. Strength. Oh, wow. Daniel, you got to love these scrambles, man. Uh, both guys looking very proficient on the ground. It looked like Bushari was going to have the advantage there, but Gianni continued to roll with him. Uh, great grappling here by both yeah, guys. Right. I think Gianni's a little bit better on the ground. He's a sambo fighter. African champion many times. And I think he, he wants to be there, on the top, on the ground. He just needs to be effective now, not just holding. Otherwise, they're gonna get, yeah. be back standing up by the referee. Both guys are like really powerful and decorated strikers. 
Well, let's find out who's going to take up the welterweight title. UAE Warriors Arabia 4 in a sold out Jiu Jitsu Arena. And on account commentary team, Cyrus Fees, Ali Thompson, and Daniel Moraes. Daniel, what are your thoughts about what's happening there? Grappling match between two strikers? Yeah, but I think as uh, like combat sambo guys, they they really good on the ground. Right. So if you if you are like five time African champion, man, you should be good on the ground. Yeah. I'm sure Boucher is good too, but it's pretty interesting, you know. Like Cyrus was talking about, aside from being a fighter, it's uh, it's good to have another profession. So from this card, we've had a guy who's a mechanical engineer, who's a banker, and now Abdullah Bashiri is a firefighter in Kuwait. That's awesome. Much respect. Yeah, that's amazing. What an amazing job we should like. Hands up for him. Yeah. I think me and Cyrus have a good future, you know. MC slash fighter, we can still make it happen. You know, I don't, I don't think so, Steve. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to disagree on that. Uh, <laughs> Jake Poole versus Cyrus Fees. Oh. <laughs> Am I next in line? I, I, you know. go. I would, I would buy this pay per view, guys. So <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Is Sherry getting some elbows do in they, there? Do they have a smaller brother? Because those are some pretty <laughs> big kids. They're man. both massive big kids, big yeah. Kids. All right, Round one like the Diani ends up on top. And uh, once it got down to it and they really got to grappling, Diani was able to come out on top there. Any surprises in round one, guys? Well, I'm really surprised that um, they didn't like really, you know, go for it in terms of like striking. Well, first, Let's take a look at replay right now, presented by the Abu Dhabi Tourism Board. Take a look at this. Oh, you got flipped in there. Bam. Yeah, not much happened. Yeah. On standing up. I was actually but, expecting more stand-up gaming there, but then we found a yeah, lot of uh, ground gaming but here. But good rotation. Yeah. Yeah, really canceling each other yeah. out. Um, you see the strength of Bushiri on display. I mean, the guy's extremely strong, especially that upper body. Yeah, but Diani, like, he ended up on top, controlling. I will give this round for Diani. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. Short, like, very tight round, but Diani was a little bit more effective, on my opinion. We are also live on the app. Make sure to download it, UAE Warriors app, on Android and Apple. This is your co-main event of the evening. Walter Away title on the line, Abdul al Bashiri and Gianni. This is round number two. Badgerdine Gianni looks more calculated right now. Moving pretty well. It only takes one for Boucheri. Yeah. So he, he's got some serious uh, impact. Working on those legs is Diani trying to slow down Boucheri. Boucheri. You see, he's, he's punching right through, Oli. I mean, he has one thing on his mind here. He had the power short, but that's what happens. Oh! Diani got the timing. When you come hungry like this, you get timing for against a grappler. It was very dangerous. Now he's in a bottle again. I think, a reason, I think a reason why uh, Boucher is having a hard time uh, in the stand-up game is because he's always flat-footed. Yeah, really you would notice he was, he was always flat-footed. So Boucher is not trying really to get up in a technical way. He's just trying to scramble out. I think this is what uh, Badger Diani wants to stand up. Oh, oh, wow. Punishment. Both men know what is at stake to become champion here with UAE Warriors Arabia. 
would be an incredible distinction. Go down in the history book as the first ever welterweight champion. Yes, we are sir. witnessing history tonight here at the Jiu-Jitsu Arena. Yes, sir. Oh! Nice. Abdul al Bashir also trains at uh, Chica Gym. Chica Gym. Shout out to the big man, Tom Khan. Yes, sir. Shit is like, he's ready to this power shot. The other is to be careful. Don't get too comfortable, like we said before. I always see the big names going by Tom Khan's place, you know, but he's never invited me yet. So, Tom, what's up? Where's the invite? You don't want me to do a striking clinic? I can do a striking clinic. Wow, Boucheri takes to the air. And Badger Indiani says, come on, bring it on. Give me some more of that. Boucher is missing a lot of the striking, a lot of his punching. He's, he's having a hard time to find his reach. Deani's got a real good flow to him, the way that he strikes, the way that he yeah. moves, very comfortable. He's, he's fluid. Boucher yeah. is missing most of his punches. Yeah, I love Deani's movement, in and out. Yeah. Dancing yeah. around. Bashiri's going in one line, just straight line. Exactly. He's getting tagged. And he's I mean, listening to his coaches as well. You can tell he, he's listening to his coaches, nodding his head. But I can't stress this enough. We've seen Bashiri in similar situations before. And if he can land that straight right, I mean, it's yeah. it's curtains here. And Diani has to keep that in mind. Oh, there it is. Coming out of the clinch, guys. Oh. I saw the power of Diani in it. Oh! Here we go. <laughs> wow. Wow. Can't blink, guys. Anything can happen. <laughs> guys are oh, oh, baby, what a combination. What a right fate, hands. man. Fate to take it down. It came the back. The fists are much. flying. Beautiful combination by the enemy. <laughs> guys, Boucher is still there. He's still on. Oh, yeah. He's still throwing hard punches. Oh, yeah. Never count him out. Never know what's going to happen. It's a five round Walter Wade title contest here. Diani going to work him to the ground oh. again. Can he get him on his back? He cannot. Bushiri fights it off. Great scramble. It's gonna be a little bit tougher of a round to score between right. these two, but I think uh, Boucheri had a better round in round two, but Diani had probably given him the edge. Where do you guys land on? I agree with that one. I mean, you know, first up, let's see the fight replay presented by the Abu Dhabi Tourism Board. Take a look at this. Boom. For me, it was pretty Straight even. Back. This round was pretty even, yeah. guys. Boucheri looks probably the more dangerous man, but I don't uh, think he won the round. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like I said, like it's imagine. pretty open. It's depend yeah. the, the the judge's point yeah. of view. And uh, Badrudin Diani, he's been moving, you know, so much better. Like what we said earlier, most of the time Boucheri is flat-footed. Yeah, because it's, it's just you Boucheri know? just yeah. missing lots of his. Punches. But he's got he's got serious power. Yeah, he's, he's. You know, you're just one punch away from being knocked out. So let's see what happens here. Third round coming up. This one is set for five rounds here. Championship matchup. Still a lot of time to work with here for both fighters. And no doubt they have been putting the time in at the gym, getting those gas tanks ready for this clash. All right, here we go, round three. You don't get too many of these championship opportunities in your career. Sometimes you only get that one opportunity. Yeah. You got to make the most out of it. Oh! Leg kicks again. Movement has been a key here for Bachelor and Diani. Yeah, it's not real pretty the way that Bashiri fights, but it is effective. Uh, if he catches that kick, he comes over the top with the right hand. Right. 
He has enough power to end it there. And he's got long arms as well. Now they're caught up in the clinch. If you look at the two of them, you would think Bashiri would have a big advantage there, but Deani slips out. Yeah. Bashiri uses that sort of Thai boxing style footwork, just slowly stomping forward, quite flat. Whilst Deani is more of a, a boxing, kickboxing. Yeah. Five minutes. Tiptoe, moving left and right, yes. forward back. Like Boucher is just waiting the, for the power shot. Oh. While Dion is just having a little bit better movement and combination. Zola Boucher breathing heavy in there. What a strike hit. Oh! Diani once again dodges the power of Bushiri. Still remains very fluid, using lateral movement here, moving around, keeping angles here on Bushiri. Nice. Trying to let Bushiri punch his way out of this fight. Oli, you fought for a few championships in your day. What's that feeling like? Title fight, well, that big fight feeling? Yeah, I've got a few, I've got a few belts still around the world. I, I only prepared for five rounds one time, which was actually UAE Warriors. And I went down to light heavyweight and fought the champ, light heavyweight, Tarek Suleiman, and uh, trained for five rounds. Right. Very different. Um, I got very fit, but I only lasted around about half. I wasn't yes. very effective at the weight, um, but it was a good experience, and I'd have to do it again at heavyweight. Sometime. I'm, I'm, I'm still champion in Poland and right. in Japan. She just two shows, so wow. lots of big fights to come. Yeah. Uh, nice single leg by Diani, but Sherry. Does it feel any different in the fight, though? When, when it's when it's for a title, do you get a different type of feeling about it, a different type of energy? Uh, you know what? For me, I don't even remember it's a title fight when I'm fighting because it's just a fight. Um, if you think five rounds, it slows you down. You got to think one round at a time. That's right. Just win the rounds you're in. Just win the rounds you're in. One by one. Yeah. You know, Steve, they, they don't give out big gold belts for announcers. It's not like you can win the announcing championship. And there's not many places that do, right? It's just in fighting. So I, I always yeah. ask champions, it's like, what's that feeling like yeah. to have that belt, to, be, to know that you're the baddest man in that division, or baddest woman in that division? I think it's... If there was if there was a belt for MCs like us, we're going to be called, like, the baddest man of the microphone, you know what I'm saying? Like, there should be, actually, you know? The golden mic, right? Yeah, something, right? Yeah. Yeah. Something content, to think about. You know? <laughs> the one thing having the belt does is it gives you security. Because these guys, we love what we do, but this is a job as well for a lot of these guys. Yeah. When you have the belt, your security, you're coming back again. At least you know you're coming at least come back at least one more time. There right? you go. <laughs> Unless the whole show folds, then oh, there you go. You know what I mean? That it's happened all... to me once. <laughs> of course it happened. I was champion at the open weight in IGF in Japan and they yeah. never did another show. Yeah. The belt, I didn't get the belt, they kept it. The belt was worth about 30,000 pounds. I wanted to keep oh. it myself. <laughs> I've never seen it again. <laughs> it's tough when you win the title and then they still... Oh! oh! He's oh. wobbled! He's oh. in trouble. Oh! He's in trouble. He clipped him! Oh! He could go. The butcher moving in! But Tiani, has he recovered? He did the right thing there. That's wow, why he's in guys, trouble. The power punch is always there. Always. Yeah. Always. Abdullah Bashir is just amazing. Knockout power in there. But the earnings is he's recovered. Yeah. Clever. Oh! oh. oh Great right round. Right right finish. Good, uh, wow, guys. That was just clipped. That, that, that sealed the round for him for me. Yeah. Daniel, you said it perfect. The power puncher's always, always in the fight, there, right? Yeah. I mean, always in the fight. But the is just start to get too relaxed. Fight that, replay brought to you by happen, Abu Dhabi Tourism Board. Oh, you see. Oh, he's put his hand down. In one point, oh, boom, boom, boom. He got clipped in there. Yeah, yeah. He, he's yeah, swung he's... and missed a lot, but it only takes one. He's still got a lot of pop. Boom. Nice. He just dodged. Sherry dodge and just give this left the hook. 
Yeah. Oh, there now it is the right, right hand. There. Yeah. Oh. Kind of caught him across his nose right there at the front. Take a look at it again. Bam. Oh, yeah. He kind of, like, just uh, graced him a little bit. And he knew it, though. But Sherry knew that he hurt him. He carries you know, a lot of power, that hand. When you fight a mover, the, your, your corner's going to tell you to keep persistent. The first two rounds, you might keep getting hit, but just keep the persistence, because the mover will slow down, and you will get your payback. Yeah. All right, coming up next. Here we go, fourth round. Getting into those championship rounds here in our co-main event of UAE Warriors Arabia. Round Number four. Yes, sir. It's title time, boys. Championship rounds, here we go. The crowd is silent. Just excited. It is. Checking out what's gonna happen next. It is, there's nothing decided. This, yeah. this fight is open, guys. Yeah, well, we can see at the right uh, eye of Badrudin Diani. He's kind of swollen right now. See that Once again, powerful haymaker over there. Power punch. Yeah. You get, you get clipped with one of those, you're done. We'll see if we see Diani fight any other way. He's been very, very loose. Is that power going to resonate here with Bondradine Diani? I think Diani respects the power now. Yeah, I think so too. You got to keep the distance in there because he knows. Who's gonna walk out the welterweight champion? Oh! Pro shot. The Sherry's uh, racing heavily in there. Oh! That both guys are tired. Yeah. I think Bashiri, he shows it a lot, though. He shows uh, the fatigue a lot. That's the time to be a smart fighter, guys. Yeah. It's both are tired. You cannot be slapped at this moment. Bashiri's bleeding. Yeah, he's bleeding. Good cut, yeah. His left eye, bro. Yes, sir. Little cut, not much. So it's not going through your eyes, you know? It's fine. Yep. Left eye is pretty, pretty messed up. Oh. But it, it takes nothing for Bashiri to get charged up again. You know, I mean, it, yeah. it takes landing that one shot for him to get his confidence back. And now he's using that big, wide base, man. Those big shoulders keep Diani up against the fence for the time being. Under two minutes to go. Right. And you can see the damage on the left eye of Diani. Both guys showing a lot of damage there on that left eye. It's just a small cut, I think. Still looks all right. Ninety seconds left. Round four. Tight round, guys. So far. Sherry is stalking here, and I think that plays well. For him on the scorecards, guys, you know, for him to continue to come forward, keep the pressure on Diani. If nothing else happens, you can win a round clearly just on cage. Absolutely, control, so. absolutely. This is probably Bashiri's kind of fight in a way. You know, he just, just, just uh, the perseverance and persistence, yeah. breaking someone down. Right. Whoa, Diani goes up top. Oh. There.
This is an example of an MMA match being like a chess match, right? Every move so very important. Look at him, just trading feints. Looking for an opening here, Bushari and Diani. Razor close fight here at UAE Warriors Arabia 4. And it is definitely fitting that it is a title fight. 10 seconds left. And we are down to the last round off of this match. Coming up next, fifth and final round. I might have this two apiece. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me at all. I think this fight is open, guys. Maybe we'll be decided on this last round. That's what I hope. I would say that the corners are going to express to them clearly that they have to win the round, right? You know, they that this last round is going to do it. Yeah. You need to get a stop. You cannot just assume that you have any rounds in you, the bank. And you and you never want to hear that as a fighter. No, right? You yeah. have to go out and do it. Why can't I just dance around? <laughs> it's a horrible thing to hear when you think you're winning. Oh, 100%. Uh, I've got it 2-2. I think that Diani's work has been better. And I think uh, as far as damage goes, he's probably done more done more damage. I agree with you, but I just think like Diani started to get a little slower. Like, yeah, I think last so too, round. Yeah. He got two And Boucheri started to grow up in a fight with the power shots. Well, here we go, trying to find out maybe who's going to take the belt. Maybe it's Diani, the fifth and final round coming up next. I think Diani lost the movement that he had at the beginning. Now it's starting to get easier for Boucheri to hit him with a power shot. Mm -hmm. Who wants to be welterweight champion? <laughs> we'll see right Who now. Who wants it most? Yeah, all right, here Let's we go. Let's see right now. How fitting that they're in there and their referee is a former UFC welterweight champion. Oh, yeah, well, guys, have him. A UFC Trigg. Hall of Famer. Oh, yeah, he's a legend. U UFC's, uh, re the referee's a legend, Frank Trigg. His fight with Matt Hughes was legendary. 100%. Wow. One of the best. Hey, yes. You know, and funny thing, he actually had to remind me of this, but that was Frank's first fight in the UFC it was a title fight against Hughes. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. Man, you know, man, Hughes people that have done it. Yeah. One of the strongest athlete ever to have oh, fought in the UFC. The yeah. definition of a warrior was Very strong guy. What, yeah, had, a, had a train act and nearly died, was hit on railroad tracks, I mean, and has been able to come back. And yeah. it's, it's incredible, uh, his story. They had to bring him over here just for being a warrior, right? Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gotta love the guy, Matt Hughes. Matt Hughes. Could we have a couple of legends here in the making? Diani goes up top. Now they're letting it all hang out. Yeah, they know this is it. Make it or break it. Fifth and final round. To see this brand, the UAE Warriors Arabia, just in four fights, now we're crowning a champion. That just goes to the growth of what this brand is. Mm -hmm. And the pride that these fighters have fighting here for Arabia, it's amazing. Still to come, our main event where the lightweight championship will be decided. Oh! Both fighters just letting it all out right now. Nobody's taking the lead here yet, gentlemen. Oh, Diani with a great combination. Low kick to that one, two. And then getting out of there wisely. He knows what's coming if he stays in for too long. Great movement as well. Diani continues, but Bashiri perseveres. And here he goes again, loading up that big bomb. I think Diani's gonna be very smart on this. Like, he's just gonna. You know, strike in, move out. Bushari, those powerful punches. I just think Diani is, is doing a little bit better with the distance. Yeah. You, you've been in the cage only with guys like Bushari that just never stop coming forward. It's like Frankenstein from the old movies, right? They never stop like, moving forward. Uh, like or like Jason Voorhees, right? Like yeah. a zombie, man. Very mentally strong guy. <laughs> Scary, man.
Yanni looking at a time. He knows what's up. Well, less than two minutes to go. He knows time is ticking here, and he has to do more. Guy that has really made his name in this organization, Sherry. Right. Mouthpiece out. Oh, well, Frank Drake's going to give him that timeout. That could have been dangerous. You don't just stop fighting ever, right? Woo. Wow. Now wow. here we this go. Is this is it. This has been a tactical battle all the way through between these two. They have fought it very, very close. Are we going to leave it to the judges or is somebody going to definitively put this fight away? I hope so. That last minute, I don't know, guys. Gianni All right, oh! Bushiri ends up on top. That was huge. That was great. That can change the whole fight. He's got 45 seconds to work on. Land some shots. Big scramble by Gianni. He's going to try to get out from underneath. He does not want to end the fight underneath Bushiri. Yeah. Oh! Bushiri wants that position, though. He wants to finish this. Yeah. He's going to go for some land strikes in here. Bushiri it to a whole nother gear right now, guys. 25 seconds to work on. Ground and pound. He's fighting like a champion. Bushiri. Very nice. Elbows. In. Very tough to uh, figure out who won this round. Tiani's going to be able to get out of trouble. But now we leave it to the judges. Wow. Wow, oh, baby. What a fight. Here we go, guys. Woo. When a title is on the line, it should be a war. It should go all five rounds, and that's exactly what happened. Exactly. Let's get the replay. Brought to you by Abbott Observation. Well, let's see what happened here. Fifth and final round. I want to see round six. Yeah, man. <laughs> Me too. Woo. That'll be the best thing. These guys have got a fight again. Oh, guys, I don't know. Just by the end, like. And we Bushiri, go. Bushiri might took this fight. We go to the distance. That was pretty even. In my opinion, it was two two. I don't know who won that fight. To be very Not honest. Not much happened in the beginning. Yeah. But look how the fight ended. That was a big mistake by the honey. Just let that happen. That might cost this fight. But I don't know, guys. It's just my opinion. It looks like a draw to me. Yeah, a draw. A draw would be fair. I, exactly. But it probably won't be. For me, I think. But we never know when, yeah. when, when one of the fighters ended up on top, yeah. striking, controlling. Yeah. And when the fight is very even, yeah. that can cost. Exactly. That can exactly. be the point. That was a great part from uh, Abdullah Bashiri. Great performance from both fighters. I mean, the Anis taking down attempts wasn't effect effective. Yeah. It's just but like, he strikes, he strikes it was her. just fate in the whole time. But let's see what happens here. Two great fighters, Abdullah Bashir from Kuwait, a firefighter by profession. Much respect to that. Badger Dean Diani, on the other hand, is a five-time combat sambo champion. I really don't know. I really don't know where this is going to go. Me too, man. And we still got one fight left. The main event of the evening. Please don't go away. I Coming up next, it's the official announcement. We're going to find out who is now the UAE Warriors Arabia welterweight champion. That was a good fight. Anyways, both guys deserve it. But there's only one champion. Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, after five hard-fought rounds for the championship, we go to the scorecards for the judges' decision. Judge one scores this fight, 48-47, Bushiri. Judge two scores the fight, 48-47, Diani. And judge three scores the fight, 50-45. to For your winner by split decision, from the blue corner, Patrick Diani!
your new UAE Warriors Arabia welterweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the championship to Badrian Diani. His Excellency, Mohamed Delmouche, and CEO of UAE Warriors, Fuad Darwin.